Hey everyone, it's Chris here with PSN Stores, and we're looking at Towerfall today for the PlayStation 4. Uh, I know a lot of people know this game for its local multiplayer versus mode, but I thought I would show off a little bit of the single player and co-op stuff for the quest and the trials st sections. So let's hop right into it. Uh, there's a bunch of different characters you can pick from, all have the same abilities sort of stuff. If you heard that from the controller just now, uh, there's some controller audio speaker stuff. So in the quest mode, there is a level for each of like, the, the weapon types, I guess. Uh, we'll start off from the beginning here, just hop into normal mode. Uh, so the controls are really simple if you haven't heard or played the game before. Because I know it's been on Ouya and not many people have that. So you can jump with the X button. You can hit the arrow out with a square. You can do a dash with a R2 which also serves for uh, catching arrows that are thrown at you. And you can uh, just move with the D-pad or uh, the analog stick. There's no double jump. Uh, there are abilities that will like simulate a double jump. There's like a flying ability you can, you can check out. There's a bunch of other stuff. But we're not getting into that right now. That's uh, mostly for multiplayer, uh, local multiplayer. Where you can set up different variants for the levels you're playing, all about arrows. So besides shooting arrows, you can also jump on their heads there, if you just saw. I jumped on that ghost's skull. And, uh, that's basically Towerfall. Like, there's, the controls are really simple, and, uh, they don't take a lot of time to learn, but they take a little bit of time to master. Oh, and I just died. Oh, let me get that arrow. Oh, I'm out of arrows again. No! So, uh, this mode, yeah, so each level takes you to a different uh, map, I guess you could say. And the maps have different, or are tied to different arrow types. So in the game, there's like the normal arrows you see here. There's bomb arrows, there are bramble arrows, which add thorns to wherever they're shot. Uh, there's laser arrows that bounce around the map. Um, what else am I forgetting? There's probably one other one. Oh, drill arrows, which can drill through the, the level and uh, hit an enemy unsuspectingly. It's a ghost. But yeah, the main meat of this game is in the multiplayer, and it is a lot of fun. I had uh, a couple friends over this weekend. We played for about three hours. And uh, we had a blast. It was probably some of the most fun I've had playing a multiplayer game in a long time. So yeah, we completed one of these challenges. Not too big of a deal. Um... Let's try the hardcore mode. So in hardcore mode they add a bunch more enemies to the screen. Um, I don't know, it's basically the same, just there's a lot of enemies and it gets really, really uh, hectic. As you'll see here momentarily, because I'm sure I'm going to get taken out by a bunch of different guys here. Right, let's fall down. Oh, oh. So uh, what? <laughs> One thing you have to watch out for is that if you shoot your arrow straight up, it can come right back down and hit you and uh, do damage. And also another strategy that's more useful when playing against actual players is that you can catch arrows if you time the dash correctly. You can just uh, straight up just grab the arrow that shot at you, which is uh, very helpful when you're low on arrows and your friends are just spamming arrows at you, thinking you're an easy kill. If you do notice, sometimes the arrows do home a little bit. There's a little bit of a homing on them. Oh goodness. I'm just spamming arrows right now to try to get out of here alive. Come back up. Oh, so dumb! So, so dumb. But yeah, I guess that there's a little bit of content here for a single player experience if you don't have anybody to play the game with, but I wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend buying this unless you have a group of friends that you play games with a lot. Because on top of uh, needing four controllers uh, to get the best experience out of it, this, this single player stuff is just kind of like training mode, I would say. Oh, God. I wouldn't really say this is like, oh, come to this game to play the, the single player tutorial mode or whatever. Oh, man, I'm not even paying attention right now. 
This game's really hard to play while you're trying to explain things. Oh! Blast life. You know what's sad is, uh, before I had this stream, uh, before I did this uh, recording, I uh, recorded this other time. And, uh, I beat this level. That's why I had the, gre the, the red skull on the outside already. But I guess I'm just, I lost my touch. Let's get this guy. Got no lives, YOLO mode. I got a bubble at least. That'll help a little bit. Ho 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 ho! Extreme air dashes right there. That was some skillful moves. I do say so myself. Here, ghost, get out of here. Boom, beat it. Nice work. Pat myself on the back there. So that's hardcore mode for the first level. Um, let's go back to the map here and pick a different one. Nice, we can show off uh, um, flying. So another power-up in the game is wings, which you can get, which will add uh, a flight ability, which you can just spam the X button, and uh, you can pretty much jump infinitely. These crows remind me of Battletoads, by the way. When I first saw them, I was like, oh man, Battletoads. Let me get a sword from your beak. Oh. This game does have a pretty good use of the PlayStation controller speaker. Not only does it beep when you're out of arrows and try to shoot one, I think it also uh, makes a noise when you die. And I think it makes when you when you catch an arrow as well, which is uh, very handy in multiplayer. Oh, come on. Hold up. Oh, oh, I caught it. Oh, man, that was close. Trying to dash away from my arrow and I caught it, luckily. Get out of my face, guy. I got one arrow here. Oh! Get out of here. So, uh, there is a wall jumping. So you can jump across wall, jump on top of walls. Oh no! Grim Reaper suck. Especially when they become, I think they're flying Grim Reapers later in this stage, which is, uh... Oh. A mess to deal with. We're doing pretty well so far, though. All right, here's the wings. Oh, get them! All right, yeah, so I can I can sort of fly around the level now. Oh, I died! I lost my wings. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh man, I'm just getting rocked now. Oh, man! Whew. I'd like wings again, please. That would be helpful. Alright, here we go. I'm out of arrows. What? I thought I picked those up. Oh, no! Tornadoed! And I lost my arrows again. God! Oh, game over. Oh, no, no, I still have one life left. Nice. <laughs> no waste my arrows. Great. Oh, man. So let's try another one of the levels, and then we'll switch it over to the trials mode so you can see that sort of stuff. Um, laser arrows? Yeah, we'll do laser arrows. So yeah, of the, the different types of errors, I think laser are the most hectic to dodge and uh, use, actually, because basically it just becomes a mess of bouncing projectiles all around the map, and you just have to pretty much just hope that you don't get hit. Ah. Whoa. Whoa! New enemy. Oh man, laser arrowed. That arrow back. Okay, so I have one laser arrow. You can see above me that it changes the little uh, HUD to show you have a different arrow type. So if I shoot that laser arrow, it should bounce. 
which it did. And I think I lost. Oh, man. Oh, what? Oh, it's got laser there. Not this time. I'm getting smarter. So it looks like you can pick up the laser arrows as soon as they hit the ground, but as soon as they disappear, you can't uh, grab them anymore. Oh, just terrible at Towerfall. Oh no, I was watching it because I thought I was gonna, I was gonna hit that guy. Man, just the worst at this game. Oh, I got a bubble. That will help me in my in my noobness. So, uh, let's check out the the Trials mode. I'll check, switch characters up here. Let's do my uh, blue girl. So there's uh, three challenges for each level. Um, each level has to do with a different type of uh, arrow. So let's start here at the beginning, just with the normal arrows. So basically you're timed, and you're trying to do it as quickly as possible. Sort of like a speedrun sort of thing. Oh, I didn't have an arrow. Crap. Three seconds is the, the best one for that, like the super speed run. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, hard and messed it up. Ugh, just the worst. Caught that arrow though. Haha! <laughs> so you can see that the, the speed run stuff is pretty, pretty ridiculous. I don't know, I'm not good enough at the game to do it. Maybe some people out there are. Let's move to the next trial. Ah, oh, missed it. Oh, terrible. I think I had the right idea there, though. Let's do the next one. Oh, I missed that guy at the top? Oh, I did. Man, choke artist right here. Oh, let's try one more time. Ah, oh, missed it again. And one more time. Nope. There we go. Oh, no! Alright, there we go. Six seconds. It was under the seven. But nowhere near my best. So let's check out another arrow. We haven't checked bombed arrows out yet on this uh, recording, so we'll check those out. So bomb arrows, when you shoot them, uh, they have a radius and they explode. Oh, and I'm about to get hit. So like if I put one up there, you can also shoot through uh, that sort of thing like that to open up new pathways for your arrows to go. That sort of thing. So these challenges are pretty cool. Um, I wonder what the trophies are like. I haven't actually checked them, so let's, uh, let's hop out to the trophies real quick. Sinking, sinking, sinking. We don't need to sink. So it looks like there's one for uh, getting to different areas of the game. Unlocking some different archers. Win every award in versus. Play a thousand rounds and play 20,000 rounds. Oh, and then there's one for getting uh, all the speed challenges, which is nuts. Can't believe someone's already did that. Good on you. Complete all 36 trials and beat them under two minutes. That's pretty nuts too. 
complete the first quest of tower mode, complete ascension quest mode, earn eight red skulls, and earn 14 red skulls. So yeah, it's pretty good challenges for the trophies here for single player sort of content other than the two ones that require multiplayer. I think these require multiplayer and this, these three are the only ones that require multiplayer, I think. Unless unlocking characters is also uh, done through that. So yeah, this is uh, Towerfall Ascension. It's a pretty fun game. Uh, especially if you have people to play with at home. Local multiplayer, Golden Age, local co-op, you know that deal. If you don't, I don't know if I could recommend it. Because I don't think there's enough, there might not be enough content here for you just to play these, these 10, 15 levels over and over again with no one to play the actual core of the game, which is the versus mode. So yeah, I'm Chris. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, uh, leave them in the... Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the video. Uh, or on the website, peaceandstores.com. Thanks.